This is a story about a little girl named Matilda who lives with her father, mother, and brother in England. Despite her family ignoring her, Matilda is intelligent and loves to read. She reads books constantly, although her parents don't approve. Sometimes her parents are mean to her, so Matilda thinks up creative ways to get back at them, such as super gluing her father's hat to his head and pretending there's a ghost in the house. When Matilda is five, she enters school and her teacher, Miss Honey, recognizes that Matilda is gifted in math and reading. Miss Honey tells the headmistress, Miss Trunchbull, a mean woman who distrusts children. However, Miss Trunchbull, having talked to her father previously, is convinced that Matilda is a troublemaker. Miss Honey decides to visit Matilda's home to see her family life and discovers that her parents treat her poorly and did not, in fact, contribute to her intelligence and love of reading. Then one day at school, as one of Matilda's classmates plays a prank on Miss Trunchbull, Matilda moves a glass of water with her mind. She can't believe that she did that and so she confides in Miss Honey as to what to do with her new powers. Miss Honey invites Matilda to her home and Matilda is surprised that Miss Honey lives in a small shack with very little food and commodities. Miss Honey explains that her aunt took all of her money and continuously abused her after her parents died. To escape, Miss Honey found the shack and lives a simple life. Miss Honey also reveals to Matilda that her abusive aunt is Miss Trunchbull. Saddened by Miss Honey's situation, Matilda has a plan to help Miss Honey and practices using her powers over the next week. Then one day at school, Matilda uses her powers to write a haunting message to Miss Trunchbull as she is teaching the class. Afraid, Miss Trunchbull gives Miss Honey her house and money back and leaves town. In the end, Matilda lives with Miss Honey as her family has to run away from the police because of Matilda's father's criminal involvement through his car dealership. Don't forget to subscribe for more Minute Book Reports and thanks for watching.